programs like STEAM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics, is a great opportunity for um, kids who are interested in the math and um, technological fields or even adults who are in those professions or even have an interest and in are thinking of ways of how they can expose their own children to those fields. The interesting thing about STEAM is that it is it, it allows project-based learning to be at the forefront of our, our children's education. I think a lot of times project-based learning is something that some kids don't see until their fourth year of college, you know, and that, that's shocking. But even with engineering, much of um, your academic experience is sort of those core classes, and then you have some lab time, but then you're, you have your senior project. And you shouldn't have to wait until you're a senior at any school to have a project-based learning experience. And the beauty of STEAM is it, it links professionals and real life projects with students. And it, and, it, and it gives students an opportunity to really see what the process is like, that things don't just appear. There's a, a planning phase, there's a design phase, and there's a construction phase. And I think having an understanding of what the process is to, for something to be brought to fruition is important, not only in whatever career you decide, but just in life, having a plan and and but also being open to other ideas. And I think that this that's that's where the left and the right brain really come together. That's where they intersect because the left brain thrives on uh, details and being specific and exact. Whereas the right brain says, we may have to make an estimate or this, you may need to consider this. It, it, it can't be in this box and we have to be more creative. So I think STEAM is pretty much the brainchild of the left and the right brain.